Hello friends. Today we're going to talk about another um, time intelligence function. You saw my video yesterday um, where I showed like how by default <clears throat> we should show the month to date as of today when we expand our calendar table to the, to the new year and then all of a sudden our month to date, quarter to date KPIs stopped working and what what was the fix for that I will share the link in the description of this video but we're going to continue with that particular topic so here is what we're going to talk today so let's say our calendar table at the start of the year automatically expand so on 1st January we have a calendar table up to 2021 on 1st January 2022 it automatically added the full year in our calendar table but we don't have any sales transaction at this point of time. What happens is our month to date and quarter to date and all of the time intelligence functions, even given as of today, in my previous video what I showed, will come blank because in January 1st there is no sales. The calendar expanded but maybe there is no sales in one very first day or first few days. So in this video we're going to talk about if there is no sales or take the last sale transaction date and then use that to show the month to date if no selection has been made in the slicer but if a selection has been made then yes show that month to date but if no selection has been made in the slicer and our calendar table is expanded automatically the new year is added how we make sure that our month to date still shows until the last transaction date or when when that transaction happened show in that month let's jump to power bi and look what tweak we need to make on the report we which we built yesterday and how that will enhance our report and make it more user friendly here is our month to date measure which we use today to see even the month year has been uh, the calendar table has been expanded to 2022 we still um, get to see the sales month to date based on the today's date. And in this video, I'm going to talk about, let's say if there is no sale in current year and our in 2022 and our calendar table is already expanded, these visuals will go blank again. Let's quickly um, go back to our data. Uh, remove the 22. 22 data out of it, so only 2021 data is in, in the sales table now. So if we look at this now, and our <clears throat> measures are going, uh, is, is blank now. Nothing wrong with it, but the problem is because there is our calendar table is not 2022, maybe some sales is expected to happen as the, as the this year goes by. But as of now, there is no um, sales. So what we can do is we can, instead of showing a month to date, it's, it's a blank. We can always show based on the last transaction date and put a label in the report so that the user is aware that this month to date is quarter date is based on the or year to date is based on the last transaction date. So let's let's look first change the my years and then we can go from there. So instead of today here, what we can do is we can always um, look into the last transaction date. So uh, I would rather, rather than putting this in a measure, uh, changing it here, let's create another measure. Let's call it last transaction date. So that will be just the max date from our sales, uh, our sales table. should be sales date so if we uh, put this new measure here in a KPI we will see that, okay the last transaction date is on 27 December 2021 our calendar is now in 2022 based on today's date we can go back into our measure and to change the measure let's uh, store our Our measure, which is last transaction date, 
never use a table name with the measure and then we can instead of today we can use that variable so now it is showing us the month to date based on the last transaction date even our calendar is 2022 if we click on november of course this will change for november if we are in december it will december 68 and if we don't select anything it is based on the last transaction date and same thing what we need to do is in the qtd uh, instead of today we can have a up to date is last transaction date and wherever we are using the uh, today date we will switch with this variable based on the measure and now sales quarter date. same we will do with the year to date so now with this what we can also label it here uh, give a label based on the, the the month to date and quarter to date is based on the last transaction date and we can show that we can add a further, uh, we can do a little bit further enhancement on this. We can give user the option uh, to choose whether they want to see month to date, quarter to date based on the last transaction date or based on the uh, today's date. We can add another my, uh, table here. Let's call it a time intelligence selection. So we can say maybe call on name and time intelligence based on last transaction date or current date or today and then load this and now if we put the time intelligence as in a, this option as in a measure here or sorry as a slicer what we can do is so now user have the option whether they want to choose based, see the MTD based on or quarter D year to date based on the current date or on the last transaction date may make it a single selection and current date and what we just need to do is the measure which we created before last transaction date change this into let's say selected time intelligent value selected value whatever is selected in the measure sorry in the slicer give us that value if nothing is select selected then we can set a default to current date and now here in return what we can say is if selected time intelligent value is equal to current date then we return today otherwise return the last transaction date from the sales table okay now we have the both the options it's based on the current date as you can see there's it's blank if we go with the last transaction date, it goes back to the last transaction date in our um, sales table. So if you want, you can expand and change it the way you want it to be. But, but the point here is, uh, if you don't have a transaction, I've seen this many times, the reason why this is important is because when the month to date, when during the year, whether the, uh, the month changes, the first few days, there is no month, no sales or transaction, and all these KPIs goes blank. And then we can always take the last transaction date and based on that, we can show it with some information why, what, how the month to date are getting calculated. Or we can give the option to the user to pick and choose between current date, today's date, or pick the last transaction date. It gives them a lot more flexibility. Also, the report is more user friendly. It's not like all of a sudden things goes blank. But again, this is just a technique. You can always tweak it the way you want it, what, what's best for you. I just want to show that with the small changes with your DAX, you can really make a user-friendly reports and provide more information and a lot more flexibility to your user. I hope you find this video useful. And um, any other topic you want to cover, do let me know in comments. Until next video, have a good day. Bye for now.